Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we are going to be going over three separate things, and the first one being where you guys can go ahead and find Madame Nazar for today. The second thing that we're actually going to cover is all of the different collection sets and their current cycles, and then last but not least, we're going to go over all of the daily challenges in extensive detail so that you guys know how to earn as much gold as possible here in Red Dead Online. Before we actually get into everything today, I just want to go over just a couple things here just real quick real quick first of all we all know that there is a brand new update coming to red dead online if you guys want the best tips tricks tutorials on the channel that literally have not changed make sure that you guys check out the rest of my videos here on the channel because i pretty much have done everything possibly regarding red dead online from making gold making money being the best collector that you guys can be best moonshiner that you guys can be best trader best way to make a ton of money best way to make go you know every possible thing that you guys can think of there is a video here on my channel like we'll get you prepared for the update that's coming here in just a few days so definitely check those out but anyway if you guys uh enjoy any of my content make sure that you guys like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated a like definitely goes a long way here on the channel Shows your support, shows your appreciation. It tells me that you want me to continue making these types of videos and future videos as well. And honestly, it just helps me grow here on YouTube. And if you guys drop this like button like absolutely crazy, so smack it really hard, then I will come up with a lot of new videos with the brand new roll and the update that's coming just right around the corner. So smack the crap out of that button, that like button. And honestly, share this video to literally everybody that you know. I don't care. If they're in the Red Dead or not, share this video everywhere and to anyone. Let's do this. All right, so the first thing that we're actually going to go and show you guys is where you guys can find Madame Nazar. Madame Nazar is located on the Dakota River area. The fast travel location of choice will actually be in Valentine, so there you go. Just make your way south, and you'll be able to find her. No problem. So if this is the only thing that you guys came for, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the video. But honestly, I would hope that you guys stay here for the rest, to be completely honest. But let's talk about the different collection sets and their current cycles. Now, you guys can make a lot of money. And this is what I'm going to suggest, especially over the next couple of days. My personal opinion, because I've been asked this a few times, and I am going to make a completely separate video on this, but I recommend selling. I'm going to get into why in a separate video and then starting over. As far as the collection sets go, I wouldn't recommend keeping them for the updates. We don't know what's going to happen, but I'll get into that more in a separate video. Coins and the Lost Jewelry are the best sets to go after if you guys want to make money and be prepared for the upcoming update. So we got coins at cycle number 6, which will require the, the field shovel and or the metal detector. And the metal detector, not and or. It's both. And then we have the Lost Jewelry at cycle number 3 for today. Now the other two sets are the arrowheads and the family heirlooms that will also require the field shovel and or the metal detector. We have arrowheads at part of cycle number 2. And family heirlooms at cycle number four. Now, you guys can earn over $4,000 each and every single day by completing all the collection sets. You guys should make a significant amount of money. That's how I've made all of my money here in Red Dead Online, or a majority of it. And honestly, um, you guys can do the coins in the Lost Jewelry. Take about three to three and a half hours. We'll make $540 per hour. There's nothing else better to make money in Red Dead Online. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next four sets, and that's going to be four sets. You don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them. However, you need to be a collector in order to sell them, so get that collector bag as soon as you possibly God. can. You want to make money in Red Dead Online? This is how you're going to do it. I don't know what's going to change. Coming in just a few days, this could, could completely change everything that we currently know about Red Dead Online. But American Wildflowers, cycle number one. Tarot cards at cycle number... I'm sorry. American Wildflowers at cycle number five. Tarot cards at cycle number one. We have the antique alcohol bottles at cycle number five. And the bird eggs also at cycle number five as well. But if you guys have any further questions regarding that, then by all means, leave that comment down below because I'd love to be able to help you guys out if I possibly can. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the daily challenges. The first thing that we're actually going to do is just go over the list of them. we got two condors plucked, one season, cook season exotic bird, 10 flying birds killed, 5 non-player enemies stealth killed, 1 place top 3 in an elimination showdown, 5 vanilla flowers picked, visited Kotora Springs, 1 antique alcohol drunk, 3 collectibles looted from non-player enemies, 1 collector map used, 1 completed special moonshine recipe, 1 moonshine sold with at least 18 bottles intact, 
Two Moonshine story missions completed. Two bounties brought in from West Elizabeth posters. Three bounties brought in from... Or just brought in. Uh, two bounties brought in and ta or taken down with bolas. Ten donate... Or 20 donations to crypts. Six large animal carcasses to crypts. And then one resupply mission completed with five minutes remaining. All right. Let's go over and talk a little bit about the daily challenges because this... Probably will not change if at all it will significantly make this the best way of earning gold in Red Dead Online. First of all, we have a brand new role that's going to be coming out which will improve our capabilities and possibility of even earning that much more gold here in Red Dead. If there's only one new role, that means we're going to be able to make 12.5 gold bars every single day. But right now we can make up to 11 gold bars. So saying 12.5 every single day is going to be kind of tricky and tough but we'll just kind of see uh how it goes but um it's the best way of earning gold it's the, literally the best way of earning gold here in uh red dead online and i highly recommend that you guys go ahead and do that if you shoot at me i will kill you oh wait is that is he shooting at that guy or is he shooting at me oh he might have been shooting at that maybe he was trying to get me i don't really know but 11 gold bars every single day. That's the best way of earning gold here in Red Dead Online. Showdown doesn't even come close, even though it is, it is second place at 0.16 gold per um, showdown. It will take like six to eight hours in order to get that much gold to be 100% honest. If you have that much time to put into just playing showdown, by all means, go ahead and do that. If not, daily challenges is where it's at. Two requirements. Number one is to make sure that you complete one daily challenge for 21 days in a row. The second daily or the second requirement is to make sure that you guys have all of the current roles and probably the new one when it comes out and be at least a rank 10 in each of those roles. Can't imagine that the next one would be any different. So rank 10 is where you want to be as soon as you possibly can in order to get the most amount of daily challenges. All right, let's break these down. So condors plucked. Condors are going to be found down in New Austin. So obviously that's going to be pretty much anything west of armadillo you guys can find condors you can find them every once in a while over here but i would recommend west of armadillo you can find a ton of them just anywhere if you guys go up to roskiller fort it's a good place to get condors as it'll just be chilling there with eagles hawks like i said condors and turkey vultures as well uh they are a day bird so you're going to want to find them during the day don't go there at night it's not going to help you guys out in any way possible Cooked to season exotic bird meat. This is done two different ways, or two different things are required. Number one is to have a seasoning. So it's going to be thyme, oregano, or mint, which are the most common herbs found anyway. And you guys can find those anywhere. We actually just had thyme that you had to pick yesterday anyway. So if you guys don't know where those locations are, make sure that you guys check my yesterday video out because that was on there. Pretty sure it was thyme. One of it. All three of them you can find right on Valentine, and a lot of mint can be found in the Dakota River area. That's all I'm going to tell you. Um, Quaker's Cove, if you go down to this location, this is where you're going to find pelicans during the day. And that's where you're going to pluck in order to get your exotic bird game meat. So that's where you need to go. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. We have 10 flying birds killed. If you guys kill the condor or whatnot when it's flying, then obviously that will count towards it. Uh, otherwise, you guys can go after like ravens, crows, any of the small birds. Um, you can go after... Whatever. Anything flies, it dies. Doesn't matter what it is. Um, we have five non-player enemies stealth killed. I like to go specifically to... Um, oh my gosh. These landing. And I'm going to show you guys or tell you guys what I like to do. So in the back of these landing, if you guys come to this area, the little square box right here. Uh, you come... Or not square box, but rectangle box. Come through here and then go back here. And typically there's going to be two guys. There's going to be one on this side and one on this side. You're going to take out like a knife or your hatchet and kill this guy first. And then you're going to kill this guy second. And then that'd be two stealth. But you have to do it fairly quick in rapid succession after each other. And then if they still aren't alerted, then typically what you can do is go kill one more person standing right here at this doorway. And you're going to have to ride a little bit of ways away and then come back. And you're going to repeat that until you get all five of them. Sometimes you might be only able to get one. Sometimes you're going to be able to get all, you know, a lot of them right away uh typically i think the most i've ever got done at one time was four before i got alerted um but uh usually it's probably one or two is pretty common that it will take and then you'll have to do it five times in order to, to get that one completed the nice thing about doing it down at these landing is if you guys have uh the throwing knives you can actually and you lose any you can actually buy them from the fence right there because right outside of that area is a fence location 
place top three in an elimination uh, sh showdown. You might have to play this for a while, but you're going to get 0.16 gold bar for everyone that you participate and then just place top three. This might be hard for somebody, so if it's not really your thing, then don't do it. Five vanilla flowers picked. I'm going to show you guys my go-to location for this, and this is actually going to be down in Lemoyne. Uh, Lemoyne is the only place that you guys can find vanilla flowers anyway. If you guys make your way down to... Went far south. This area, which is... This is one of the moonshine shacks right here. I'm going to do a whole bunch of locations right by here. There's actually one right here, right outside the moonshine shack. There's actually one a little bit down south from there as well, right there. And then one right on the B. If you guys go across, you're going to find another one right about here. Go a little bit north, you'll find one right about here, there, also right about here, and also another one on over here. I gave you guys what? Seven locations, and you guys only, or eight locations, you only need five. The only problem with vanilla flowers is you can find a lot of them down around the bayou and the NWA and the Blue Water Marsh area, but they only are in one. They're on the side of a tree every single time, and you can only pick one at a time. So there's a lot of locations right around where I just got done showing you guys, so it really should not be that hard to find uh, vanilla flowers. Now, visited Cortora Springs. That's going to be up north, and then your fast travel destination of choice is actually going to be at the Indian Reservation. Then just ride south to Cortora Springs. Once you get about here, it'll actually count for you guys. And just be careful. Usually right in this area, you guys will find and uh, have some run-ins with some wolves. All right, let's go to move on to the daily rule challenges, and not a lot of them seem pretty hard. We have to drink one antique alcohol drunk. Again, if you guys want to collect those bottles, you guys are going to be collecting them at cycle number five. We have three collectibles looted from non-player enemies. Now, when you guys collect these, you'll need to drink one, and it'll be from your inventory. You have to loot a whole bunch of people. The best way to do this is either gang hideouts or bootlegger missions. You can either find them naturally around the world, or you can talk to Maggie and get the bootlegger missions um, started. Roughly every two out of three... Um, the bootlegger missions that you guys complete, you'll get one collectible. So, every two you should get one. So, it might take like four and you should be able to get that one completed. Then you have to use collector maps. Um, so if any of yours revolve around like finding coins or whatever, then use those collector maps for that. One completed special moonshine, you just have to complete it or start it. So if you already have one starting and brewing, you're going to have to wait till it's finished. And that's how you're going to get completed. But it's got to be that special moonshine recipe. If it's not an Argarita, Creek Plum, or Caribbean Rum batch, as soon as you start that next one, then it will count as soon as you start it. But it doesn't have to be finished. But if you currently have a special one brewing, you're going to have to wait for it to be completed to get this one taken care of. Next one is to have a delivery of Moonshine with at least 18 bottles intact. Basically, just be as careful as you possibly can. Slowing down for road tracks, bridges, um... Don't hit any rocks, making sure that you stay on the road, things like that. Two Moonshine Story missions completed. This one takes too long in my honest opinion, but you talk to Maggie, or you can actually do this through the progress menu if you already completed them. Otherwise, yeah, this is, will take a little bit of time to complete those. Two bounties. Oh, okay, so the next one is it's usually the bottom one. So Bounty Hunter roll is the only roll that does pay out additionally in gold. Two bounties brought in from West Elizabeth. So it's going to be Wall Station, Strawberry, and Blackwater. Three bounties brought in. So those two definitely go together. It doesn't matter where you guys bring them in from. Uh, two of them, obviously, from West Elizabeth. And then last but not least, we have the, for the bounty hunter role, we have bount two bounties taken down with bullets. So what you're going to do is you're going to go do them from West Elizabeth, capture them, and take them down with bullets, and then hogtie them, just bring them in. These three definitely go together for today. That's an easy up to two gold bars. Half a gold bar, up to a half a gold bar for getting them... Um, for just doing the bounty hunting missions. Um, I mean, minimum payout is 0.08. Maximum is 0.32. So I say on average, you're going to get a half a gold bar. So two gold bars. So one and a half for completing the bounty hunting daily challenges or the bounty hunter daily challenges. And then a half a gold bar for the other portion of it. And then the trader roll, we got 20 donations to Crips. I like to go after... That's something like it was like right next to me. Uh, I like to use flight feathers or any type of feather for that because it's easy. Six large animal carcasses donated to Crips. Uh, so cougar, panther, deer, pronghorn, wolves will count towards that. And then one resupply mission completed with five minutes remaining or five minutes left on the clock. So basically do a resupply mission as fast as you possibly can. But that is all the daily challenges done, gone over, and covered. If you guys do have any questions regarding any of the daily challenges or anything that I covered here in today's video, 
by all means, go ahead and leave a comment down below so that I can do my best to help you guys out. But if you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. And honestly, guys, I'm one of the few people that do this every single day for you guys and especially break it down in detail so you guys know exactly how to complete it regardless of what rank you currently are at. So definitely go ahead and leave a like. It really helps me out. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.